Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas and welcome back to my channel. So in this tutorial today, we're going to be making a large geode artwork using alcohol inks and resin. On my last tutorial where I did the alcohol ink geo technique, I asked if all of you guys wanted to see it in like a larger version and also start including resin with this particular technique. And I got an overwhelming yes to that. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. I have got a board this size that we're gonna be doing this technique. I originally did the first one on Upo paper because it was a lot smaller version. Now you can use Upo paper for this technique you just need to mount it onto a board you could also get an aluminium board or you could do what I've done um, so this is a wooden MDF board which I normally use for resin art and I have primed it and then I've also given it a white coat of resin so you can see in the lights that it's got that nice like shine to it this is a really good one if you can't get a hold of like an aluminium board because I know a lot of people in America that's just not an option um, because I get all of my aluminium boards from Artists and the Maker or Art Tree Creations and they're both Australian brands and I feel like that's a bigger thing in Australia than it is in America or other parts of the world um, and also too if you can't get a hold of like real large Upo paper if you can only get where you are smaller sheets and this is a great option to do where you can still do this technique um, because we've made the surface really nice and slick it's still going to allow the alcohol inks to glide across the same way it would if it was on aluminium board or UPO paper. So this is a great option um, to do if you can't get a hold of those two. I will just use really cheap resin for this because we're going to be putting colors over the top. You don't want to use expensive resin um, or use resin that's about to go off um, if you're going to do this techniques so that way you're not wasting like the good quality resin and stuff like that. Um, so you can buy like I know in Australia like resin off eBay art resin for like $30 a litre. Um, then you'd get quite a few out of that to do big boards like this but I probably wouldn't go and use like an expensive brand like art uh, resin to do a base coat of resin um, but it's up to you what resin you want to use so I've just done that and then you're going to need some alcohol ink some alcohol um, some paint brushes resin pigments all of those good things and I'm going to show you my version on this this is my inspiration photo for this piece I am also going to be adding in a little bit of purple as well so I'm just kind of tracing out where I want to put my crystals as a guide for this I'm just using a white paint pen but you could also use a pencil as well I know that I'm not going to see this paint pen when I do start to add all the crystals on top so it doesn't really matter too much now if you want to have some negative space in your piece you can use either liquid latex like I'm using or masking fluid and place that down first before you add your alcohol inks on top this is just going to stop the alcohol inks from covering those areas and it will remain white because my background is white if you used a different colored board then obviously it's going to keep that color as your background I'm using some isopropyl alcohol this one is from Barnes but you can get them from your hardware store or even your chemist will sell this alcohol this one is 99% proof and then I'm just going to be placing that down in the areas that I want to start working on first and I'm using a large flat brush and then I'm only going to be using two colors of alcohol inks because when they do blend together I'm going to get different shades of those colors so wherever I apply the alcohol inks first is going to be the darkest point of that color and then as I blend that out it's going to get lighter and lighter so it's going to end up looking like I'm using a lot more colors than just two The second color that I've added in is called Orchid and I'm just going to be slowly building that up and constantly dipping my brush back in to my isopropyl alcohol and blending those two colors together creating that geode shape pattern. You can see just how easy the alcohol inks and isopropyl glide across the resin board. So this is a really great tip if you can't get a hold of an aluminium board or you put paper large enough is just place a little bit of resin down on your board as your base and then it will let the 
alcohol ink glide across. Now you can use whatever colors you like um, and you can also do multiple layers with this technique as well. So it's all just about building it up, adding color in slowly and blending them all together using your brush. Once you do get your piece where you're happy to add your resin layer, then you just need to seal your alcohol inks before you add your resin on. If you add your resin directly onto alcohol inks without them being sealed, you can find that sometimes the resin will lift the colors and make them bleed or change the colors. I like to use the Duramax Semi Gloss to seal my work, and then I normally leave about an hour to two hours in between before applying my resin, and I do probably two coats of sealant. This one one that I use is just a spray sealant. I've also just removed uh, the latex as well on this piece before I apply my resin which you can see leaves me with a white outline. For this piece because I want it to be super sparkly and really glitzy and over the top I'm going to be using a few different types of glass and mirror chips and crystals as well. I like to use glass and mirror chips just because they're cheaper than using actual crystals. So the purple ones that I'm applying now are just purple glass chips and they're about a quarter of the price of me going and finding purple crystal chips. So that's like a really helpful hint. And then I'm also going to be using some silver mirror chips, some clear glass chips, um, holographic glitter and maybe a little bit of sparkle in this as well. And with this I'm just applying my purple ones to the outside of my crystal design and then I'm going to be applying my silver and my glass to the center. Now I did make one rookie error when I was doing this piece and that was I forgot that it is getting too hot to work with resin during the middle of the day and I didn't move fast enough. So it's coming into summer in Australia and I just forgot that it's probably not the best idea to mix up a big batch of resin and leave it sitting there, especially because I took so long to apply my crystals that the resin that I left sitting there actually was getting quite hot. And when I realized I poured it all out over my board but because it had heated up so much, it was still workable, but really hot. It then did start to lift a bit of the alcohol ink, even though I had already sealed my alcohol ink. But because the resin was just so hot, it did have that effect. Um, and it kind of threw me off my game a little bit when it came to applying my other resin colors, because I just took too long to work with the resin and probably should have put the air condition on. Just look at how amazing this silver is. This silver is actually a part of the new resin pigment range that I'm bringing out really soon. I'm so excited to share this with you and this is a sneak peek of that silver. Um, so definitely keep an eye out, that will be out before Christmas and I think there's 32 different colors in the range to begin with. So you guys just got to see a little sneak peek of one of the colors that's going to be in it. Once my resin was dry, I wasn't too happy with the amount of silver resin that I added on. I think I just went a bit heavy handed because I was trying to rush because the resin was setting and I just thought it was just too much. So I decided to do a second layer of alcohol inks, which is so easy to do because it just goes straight on top of that layer of resin and kind of cover up that silver a little bit because it just wasn't right. I felt like it was overpowering the piece too much and because I put that resin on when it was about a set and it was getting really hot, it did bleach out some of the color of that alcohol ink. So by reapplying a second layer, I get some really cool elements of like depth coming through when you look at the resin really close because you can see multiple layers and it also just lets me make my pink more vibrant again. For this piece, I'm going to be using two different types of paint pens. The first one is a Picasso white paint pen, and then the second one is a silver chrome one, um, and I'll put that in the description where you can get it. I've only found one place that stocks this silver chrome one, but it is literally like liquid silver. So I'm just going to be going around and adding some detail with my paint pens, kind of outlining my crystal areas.
And now it's time to do the final layer of resin and you get to see one more color that I'm going to be adding into the collection. I think I'm going to be calling this color Starlight and it's just a sort of sparkly clear sparkle I guess is the best way to describe it. It has no color to it but whatever you add it to it just makes that color sparkly or add it into your clear resin and just look at how gorgeous it is in the resin. It works so well with geodes when you are doing like that final top coat because it just makes the whole piece sparkly but it's not a glitter. Um, it's kind of hard to describe but I'm really excited for this one to come out because it's one of my favorites to use. And now I'm just doing a full top coat and I'm pouring this all over the crystal area and completely over the whole um, geode board. And I also did seal the alcohol inks once again before applying my resin. And this time I worked fast with my resin and had my aircon on so I didn't have the same issue with the resin overheating. I'm also just reapplying some more crystals, really building it up. I wanted this piece to be like super over the top, sparkly, purple and pink glittery just excess really beautiful pretty I'm also just going to be adding a little bit of holographic glitter over my silver sparkle down the center and this agate slice piece that I had um, that I thought would look really pretty on top of all the crystals as well as some glitter glass from Just Resin. I told you before this was going to be a super like over the top glittery piece. I think I've got like what four or five different types of like glitter slash crystal glass on this geode piece and then I'm just going to use resin to attach the agate slice and I'm also just going to add in some quartz um, little crystal points around the agate slice. And the final step once that last layer of resin has dried and this is optional if you want you can go back over and really make your lines pop by doing another layer of paint pens. You don't have to go back over all of them. You could just do a few selected ones to make them really pop. I just kind of like this because it adds a little bit of depth when you look because you can see the multiple layers and lines of paint pens. Okay guys, so I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. Is this something that you would give a try at home? I absolutely love this technique using alcohol inks and resin to create really beautiful geode inspired artworks. I'm gonna keep making more of these because one, it's just, it's so simple to do and you can have so much fun with it layering the inks and the resin together. Um, and they just turn out so beautiful. So I wanna know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and it supports my channel. And if you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you get notified every single time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching.